Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use a small little application called GTK Self Image. It's an open source application you can use for free. You get it from this website here. It's only a small download, 915 KB. Download it and install it. It's a tiny little app. Now I've already installed this, so I'm just going to show you how to run it. So basically, if you're on, I'm on Windows 7 here, all you need to do is right click on the actual icon there and run as administrator. Click yes. This will open up this little um, dialog box here, and all you need to do is get your actual input, what you want to actually copy. Okay, so we're going to choose a location what to copy. So all you need to do is click on the uh, drive there. If you want to do a file, you can just put it on file if you want, and this little box opens up here, and this will show you how to uh, click on a file that you wish to copy. We're just going to choose drive in this case. So what I'm going to do now is select the drive that I want to use. So let's try and find a drive. I want to use this complete disk, 3.7 gigabytes. That's my little pen drive. So I'm going to use that because otherwise the video will take forever. Uh, compression image. Uh, we're going to use the best one here, gzip. And then uh, output. We need to find an output where to put that. So we're going to click on drive again. Click on this here. Look for C, uh, just the C drive here. That'll do me straight there, straight in the C root directory. Let's have a look. Maybe file. Let's have a look. See what's on file. So if we can go to our C drive. Okay, click on C, and then we can call this whatever we like. Um, just call this, uh, say for instance, N drive, something like that. Click OK, and that's going to be in this location in our C drive. So click uh, OK again, and this will start the process. And as you can see, it's now transferring the data from my pen drive to my C root drive. Now, that's a really handy little application to have. Uh, it's only a small little application. I'm going to pause the video at this stage just so you can uh, see the end result. Okay, that's nearly finished now as you can see. Average speed is 16.1 uh, megabits per second. And uh, it's just another little option that you've got for using to image drives or files. So, And it's free as well, so it's pretty useful. And as you can see, this is now completed. So I'm going to click OK here. Just click OK. Okay, let's have a little look. C drive. And this is the actual image here, as you can see. It's just put itself right there. And that's quite useful because now we've got an image that we can open and use or store on another archive drive or something like that. Okay, so that's just another little option for you. Okay, so let me just cancel that out there. So let's have a little look at the forum. If you wish to join our forum, this is a tech tech forum for helping you with your problems. If you've got anything wrong with your computer or you need some help, come to this website, brightechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum. Uh, join up. It's free to join up and uh, join the community and you can post your problems in here and you'll have people helping you out. Okay. Now I've added another thing on YouTube. It's pretty new, but it, if you want to see some videos, I've just actually added it on. You just actually type in here which you would like me to make, what videos you'd like me to make, and uh, people will vote on it. And the people with the most votes, I'll make those videos for you. So I hope you enjoy these videos. If you do, remember, hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that subscribe button. So my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thanks for your support. Keep watching my videos. Thanks very much. Bye for now.